my name is Sabina Skorsky. This is a 10 minute lightweight arm workout. You need um, one, two or three pound weights or you could do this body weight as well. If you want a little bit of weight but you don't have any weights, you can use two filled up water bottles. All right, we're gonna just move continuously for 10 minutes. I expect it to get nice and challenging. Excuse me, Bruno. All right, I'm hitting the clock. Let's start with a normal, simple bicep curl. Thumbs up, feet together, elbows in, just nice and simple. Think about beautiful, perfect form here. That means belly buttons in, the shoulders are down, elbows are really tight to your side, not out like this. And just get into like some nice, easy breathing. We're gonna do this for about 30 seconds. And then we'll go into an overhead press. So let's do that in three, two, one. Keep it really narrow. Go right from this right angle straight up. There's a million ways you can do an overhead press. You can make it wide or narrow or go all the way down or up. We're just keeping these really narrow today. And then we'll combine these two exercises, the curl and the overhead press before we move on. I love, love muscular endurance work like this. It's not muscular strength in the sense of we do eight reps and then take a rest. We're moving for 10 minutes continuous. All right, let's go bicep curl, overhead press. And I think there are so many applications to our daily life with muscular endurance, repeated tasks that we do over and over without weight or without much weight. Keep going. In a moment, we're gonna just keep going, but stand on one foot. We might as well get a little balance work in while we're doing this, all right? So we're gonna keep going, but stand on your right foot. So I hope there's a little shoulder heat building for you. If not, that's okay, I know we'll get there. We are uh, just about almost at two minutes, not quite there yet. On the next one, you're gonna stop at a right angle, okay? So right here, switch feet. Thumbs are still facing up. We're gonna go out and then in. We'll play with our feet. We'll do one leg for a bunch of this and put both feet down and then come back to one leg. Again, do press your shoulders. So if you feel this happening, either be really conscious to pull your shoulders down or drop your weight so that you can do it properly. All right, keep going with the arms. Place both feet down. Like I said, we'll get back to that one foot in a moment. Put the palms facing the ceiling or the sky, wherever you are. I hope you're outside. That's my absolute favorite way to work out. I'm on my beautiful porch kind of outside. Here in New York, we have like another month or two where it's comfortable and then winter. All right, from here, extend your arms out and then pull them back in. Out and in. We're gonna go about 30 seconds and then we'll combine those two. Think about your shoulders trying, no, I'm sorry, your elbows trying to touch behind you. They're not going to. I'm sure somebody who's hyper flexible could. Mine, I don't know maybe like 10 inches apart. But I feel this a lot in my shoulder blades, which is what we're going for. All right, let's combine these. Let's go thumbs up, extend out, bring it in. Pinching the whole time. I know, I'm like a broken record, but as we get tired, sort of forget about proper form. So we're working on scapula here. We've done biceps. We must do some tricep work. Keep our body even. We'll do some chest work as well. Front and back. The more even that we are, the less chance we have of becoming injured. Okay, from here overhead, start to drop for an overhead tricep extension. We'll get about 30 seconds. Let's go back to that one foot. Choose a foot, either one. We'll go 30 per side. So here, I can feel I'm just getting like a little relaxed. Clamp the elbows in, lift the chin. And if you have to slow it down, slow it down. We can get another 10 seconds before we switch legs. We're just gonna keep doing this though with the triceps because we need volume in order to make this exhausting. By volume, I mean a certain number of repetitions. Switch legs. Now I'm starting to feel it. It takes a good amount. I don't know, maybe 50 or so. Maybe it's 20. Depends on the person. It depends on the day. Depends on what you've done. All right, keep going. I'm dropping my head to look at my stopwatch, but I want your head to be up. 
elbows in, chin up. Woo. All right, both feet down, bring it to a right angle, open, squeeze the scapula, close and push your forearms into each other. Big inhale, exhale and squeeze. Ooh, I got all sorts of things burning. We're almost halfway. Oh no, we are five minutes, five seconds. We're just over halfway. After this, we'll dip forward for a... First, we're gonna do a combination of triceps and what we're doing right now, so it's gonna look like this. All the way overhead, extension, come back down, open, close, up. On that way up, you might lose um, your connection a little bit. I mean, there's only so far you can go with your forearms together. But just do your best to keep it narrow. When we do the re rear raise, I'm gonna give you an option to go on one foot. Let's do five more of these. Oops, I forgot my tricep extension. Okay, last one. I'm not sure if that was hard. Pitch forward, arms out to the side. So flat, flat back here. If you're feeling nice and stable, you're gonna lift one leg. We'll do each leg for about 20 seconds. Slow it down when you have to. I've done videos before where Bruno, my little puppy, has taken my stopwatch and I had to redo it. In five seconds, we're gonna switch legs. Go for it, switch legs. And since we're switching, might as well switch the arm position as well. Let's do palms out. Like I said, slow it down when you have to. I almost lost my balance there, so I just kind of stop everything until I have it back. Another 10 seconds here. As we get tired, as I get tired, balance is compromised for sure. And stand. All right, both hands in front. Just take a moment to catch your breath. Palms up. We're gonna do two things. First, we cross, right over left, left over right. No rush. You might feel the Feel this in your chest a little bit. And then we're gonna make circles. So tap the dumbbells at the bottom, tap them at the top. Bottom, top. We'll alternate these two for the next minute or so. Every 20 seconds we'll switch. With small variations. So back to the crosses, this time knuckles up, cross over. A little faster. Sometimes speeding it up helps because you can't think about it quite as much. And now with these circles, make them bigger. My arms are on fire. I'd say shoulders, scapula the most. All right, one more time. Cross it over. Your choice, palms up, palms down, doesn't matter. We've done both. And now our circle's gonna be really small, really little. Let's go to that in three, two, one. Tiny little circle, let's go. 15, 14, ooh, 13, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We're not done after this. Two, one, hands down, cross body bicep curl. This should feel good. We have a minute and 20 left. I know the back of your shoulders, the rotator cuff are on fire, as mine are. I assume yours are too. If they're not, hey, good for you. But if they are, I'm with you. We're gonna spend the last minute in an overhead press in variations. All right, two hands, right angles, slowly up with the right, bring it back, left, bring it back. We'll play with speed a little bit. Now, same slow speed, but together. When you come down, pinch. You can come a little bit lower with those elbows all the way up. Pinch. All the way up. Pinch. All the way up. 30 seconds, my friends. 
All right, for the last 20, starting now, we go fast. Up, up. This is how we end, 20 seconds of this. If for some reason you want to bring it narrow, it's fine by me. I kind of like it wider right now for the last eight seconds. Go, go, go. I'm going to do a quick little stretch after this once our 10 minutes is up. Feel free to stick with me and join me. All right, if you want, put your weights in. Let's just do a quick shoulder stretch. Bring one arm across the body. I normally don't do a stretch right after, but I just feel like I need it. Might as well include you on the video. Other side. Bring one palm out, pull it back. Kind of play around with where it is in space. Other side. Tricep overhead. Pull that down. This side goes down. Maybe reach to the side. That might feel good. Other side. Down. And reach. All right. You can keep stretching. Have a wonderful day. Again, I'm Sydney Nitskorsky. Feel free to reach out to me anytime at snfitnut at gmail.com. Bye.